Hi, I'm Randy Franklin Smith. I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to install HP ArcSight Logger and configure it to begin collecting events from your Windows domain controllers. Now if you're like me, you might not be that comfortable with installing Linux and Linux applications, but these days it's very easy. And so first of all, I'm going to show you how to install Linux. After we install Linux in a virtual machine on my VMware infrastructure, we'll then install Logger on that Linux system. Next, we'll install the ArcSight Smart Connector on one of our Windows Active Directory domain controllers, and at that point we will be able to collect the security log from that system and send it to Logger, where we can then take advantage of all of Logger's awesome abilities for alerting, reporting, and much more. In this first video, we will focus on just installing Linux. In the next video, I'll show you how to install Logger and the Smart Connector. If you haven't already, I would recommend going to hpenterprisesecurity.com and initiating your request for Logger. You can do that by going to Products and then under HP ArcSight Security Intelligence, look for Logger. And then uh, here at this page, you can initiate your download by clicking right there on Download Now. Then before we can set up our uh, Linux virtual machine, we first of all need to download a copy of CentOS 5.4 64-bit. And uh, you'll be able to find that file here at centos.org. I've already downloaded that file. It's an ISO file. I've uploaded it to my uh, virtualization server. So I'll set up a new virtual machine. And here we go, we're booting up CentOS Linux. And we're going to go ahead and install it. And we'll install it in graphical mode. And then we'll pretty much just page through the options here. And I'm going to manually configure the TCP IP settings. And here on my network, the, net, the address is going to be 10.42.1.200. And there's our subnet mask. And we're not using IP version 6 on this network. And we'll give this computer the name of logger one and the gateway is 10.42.1.1 and our DNS server is 10.42.1.101 and we need to give it a root password okay here CentOS wants us to choose which components get installed the only two that we need are already checked desktop, GNOME, and server. So we'll leave everything else unchecked. Now the installation begins in earnest. Okay, CentOS is installed, and now it's time to reboot. So CentOS has booted up for the first time, and now we've just got a few things to finish configuring. First of all, it wants to know about the firewall. We'll go ahead and accept the defaults. And next, it wants to know if we should allow Security Enhanced Linux enabled and enforced. And we'll go ahead and allow that to remain enforced. Okay, let's log on as root. 
Now it's time to install VMware tools. If you're using a different hypervisor, there's going to be a similar task. All right, the first thing I need to do before actually installing VMware tools is install some packages that will allow us to build kernel modules. All right, after that little preparatory step, let's actually install VMware tools. Mounted uh, the appropriate CD-ROM. Now we can come down here. And we'll extract the VMware tools to our temp directory. And voila, our files are extracted. We can unmount that device. And let's run the installer. So we'll change to that directory. So let's install to our user bin folder and uh, put them under VMware. Let it create the folder. We'll just accept the defaults. And we get to pick our resolution. Let's reboot so that we can take advantage of the VMware tools. Well, great. We've already completed the first step of our process, and that is installing Linux. Now, watch my next video in which I'll install Logger on our new Linux system, and then we'll go over to our domain controller and install our smart connector.